Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today we are crafting a version of Joss's Infinity Backpack. This is an adorable and functional accessory, perfect for carrying Joss's surf, cheer and school supplies. You can customise this craft to make a backpack any colour you like. So let's get making! We used an A3 sheet of bronze glitter fun foam and hot glue. Like the AG version, our measurements for the backpack are a little bigger so you can fit heaps of goodies inside. Cut two of the body shapes for the front and back of the bag. Cut a lower pocket shape and a smaller top pocket. You may like to pause the screen here for our exact dimensions. Cut a 7 by 40 centimeter long rectangle for the bag, a 5 by 40 centimeter rectangle for the lower pocket, and two 15 by 2.5 centimeter strips for the backpack straps. Use a ruler or other straight edge to pre-crease one centimeter tabs on both long rectangular strips. Using the curved tip of a popsicle stick really helps to make the impressions for the tabs on the body and pocket pieces. Except for the bag straps, fold all the pieces in half and mark the centre point in pencil. OK, let's assemble the lower pocket first. Put a line of hot glue along the base tab. Next, match up the centre point of the pocket and rectangular strip and press the tabs together, good side to good side. Apply hot glue to the side tab. Match up the tabs and press to seal. Repeat for the right side. When you get to the top of the pocket, only put hot glue to the centre mark. Seal the tabs together, then trim away any excess fun foam. Do the same with the other side, but allow a small amount of overlap so we can glue the top closed as seen on screen. Now we can flip the pocket out to reveal all that glittery prettiness. Following this, take a small black zipper, ours is 13 centimetres, run hot glue along one side and attach to the top of the pocket. Turn back the fabric of the zip and glue down the other side. Make a small slit in the fun foam below the zipper to tuck in the tail end. Secure on the inside with more hot glue. Do the same for the other side. We can now open the zipper and use an X-Acto blade or scissors to cut the fun foam underneath, giving us access to what's inside. Glue the lower pocket to the front of the bag. Again, match up the centre point marks to ensure even alignment. Be sure to leave the front base tab free. As before, apply lines of hot glue to the left, right and top tabs. It helps to open the zip so you can press down firmly on the fun foam for a good connection. Take your top pocket piece and run hot glue along the base tab. Turn it pretty side down and curve this tab around the top of the lower pocket as seen on screen. Squeeze thin lines of glue on the underside of the fun foam to adhere the top pocket flat to the bag. Let's switch to the main bag. Match up the centre point for the back and thick rectangle pieces. Make more tick marks 7cm beyond the back pieces on both sides. This is where we will wrap the netting. Ours is recycled netting from an orange bag that we just painted black. Position the netting at these tick marks. Hot glue the net to the glittery side of the rectangular strip. To avoid burnt fingertips, Press on a non-stick paper to secure the net in place, then peel off when the glue has cooled and dried. Repeat for the sides of the net, wrapping them around the dull side of the foam. Now we have a place to pop a water bottle. Put glue on the base tab of the back piece and adhere to the rectangular strip as shown. Repeat for your front piece. Just like the lower pocket, Continue gluing the left side tabs together and then work on the right side tabs. 
Remember, you always want to glue good side to good side. Now turn the bag out. We can now glue the top tabs in place. Since there is a gap, we will patch this later with a small rectangle of fun foam. We can access the back piece to make a slit for the ribbon loop. Feed the tails of the ribbon into the slit and hot glue into place on the inside of the bag. Glue on a longer zipper. Ours is 15 centimeters, just like we did earlier, so we can access the inside of the bag. Moving on to the backpack straps. The infinity straps have a wavy design. So draw a shape that is similar to a thick wiggling snake. Cut out, leaving a two centimeter tab at the end. The second strap needs to mirror your first. So flip your original over, trace, then cut it out. Put drops of hot glue on each tab, then secure the straps on either side of the ribbon hook. At the tip of the strap, cut a slit to feed through more black ribbon. These pieces are 12 centimeters long. Hot glue one centimeter on the dull side of the fun foam. Next, draw a line of glue over the base seam of the bag and attach the other end of the ribbon. Now that the backpack is complete, we can work on the details. With white puffy paint, draw the infinity logo in the middle of the top pocket. Next, write out the infinity text. I should have double checked myself as I forgot the second I in infinity. Oh well, now we have a truly oak backpack. That's it. Now the dolls have their very own infinity backpack with working pockets and lots of storage. Fill your bag with swimming, sports or school essentials. We intend to make the white unicorn version next. What will you make? Tell us in the comments below. Check out our Joss playlist to make other pieces like her surf bus and beach grill. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to Always Dolls.